This is Caleb Brooks for the Central Alabama Voice in Millbrook, Alabama, where business is literally booming as new businesses are popping up all over the place around this community. We caught up with some local business owners as well as Miss Elisa Jones from the Millbrook Chamber to get their thoughts on these businesses coming in and how they think that this can benefit the Millbrook community. Well, the big one is Taco Bell. The walls are up. They've got a little bit of signage on the building, so we know it's coming soon. They've been using our conference room here um, to interview employees, and they're still looking for a few, so if anyone's interested, uh, give them a call, go online, whatever. After that, we have Popeyes that's going to be going in next to Taco Bell between them and Jack's. Over by Walmart near Zaxby's, there's an empty lot there that Eliano's Coffee is going to do, which is kind of like Starbucks, but a little bit different, a little local franchise that's going in that's going to be exciting for everybody. Um, it's going to make that um, intersection there very busy, yeah. I have a feeling. We have just announced, the mayor did, that Neighborhood Grill and Catering from Clanton is coming in, going in next to Food Outlet, so that's going to be a nice family-type restaurant for our area. Just received word also that the Hibachi Express is opened up across from Robinson Springs United Methodist Church, so that's going to be a nice addition, uh, something a little bit different too. And the mayor, our county, and economic development um, authority have announced in conjunction with the Montgomery Greater YMCA that we're going to have the Fields 17 Springs coming in, which is going to be a, a, a real big game changer for the area. Uh, that whole corridor of Highway 14 is going to start popping really fast. Well, I think it's uh, on two fronts. Number one, we have a strong niche community that I think truly supports their local businesses. And I think that gives us a leg up on most communities. And a lot of communities are scared to bring in other businesses, but Millbrook is not, a, not scared of growth. And I think when you have a strong mayor and a unified council, you can get a lot of things done. And I think they, they're forward thinkers so to speak, and I think that is helping uh, local businesses flourish and continue to do well even during the times that we're currently in with the coronavirus and so forth. I think we have a really good quality of life here. We're close enough to things, doctors and hospitals, but yet far enough away. It's a much more quieter lifestyle. We have a lot of open green spaces, some great parks in the area. A lot of the bikers that do um, bike clubs come here on the weekends and they're biking all around everywhere. And there's some hiking trails. We have Lanark um, with AWF, which is a fantastic facility, all the trails out there. It's just quality of life, I think. I think the growth and the support that we receive, uh, your local chamber really gets out into the public, your communities, your neighborhoods. And I think they look first at your local stores and businesses. I think they look there first for their products and what they need because they understand that when you support your local businesses, those tax dollars, come into the school systems and, and help mm -hmm. uh, other businesses want to come here when they see the growth of businesses and I think it's that type of thinking that helps communities grow. Well of course the sales tax revenue makes a big impact in the budget for the city which means that they can provide more things. Maybe purchasing some other land for parks, maybe some bike and trail paths, even helping just the fire and police departments. Um, it's going to be a game changer all the way around. As more people are coming to this area, businesses are starting to look at it and take it serious.